Hey guys, my name is Dave and welcome to another video. Now, I was thinking while well, kind of just relaxing today and the question came across my mind that I'm surprised hasn't come across my mind in the four years that I run this channel and the 12 years that I've been on YouTube regardless of what account I've been using because this ain't my first account. That's a story for another day though. Um, the question that came across my head, do I miss what YouTube used to be? I was taking, I was, for the first time in doing it, all these, I was taken aback by my own question. Do I miss what YouTube used to be? Do I? Well, let's put it in perspective this way. What's the difference between current YouTube and now? And I'm sure many of you who are watching this are going, the best, the YouTube back then was better, or something like that. I know many people think that you don't need to scream it in my face. Why? Why do people think the one now is so bad? Well, when you think about it, it's not really, it's just a matter of perspective and the fact that people don't like change. Everybody who does YouTube has been doing it for a living, still does it now. The alterations were literally minor. Why though? Well, it's kind of like how a country is built. Or should I say, a people is balanced out. Laws and rules and regulations. In a sense, YouTube is kind of like that. It's kind of like a newfound country building its population up and creating a law and order system. And for those who watch the show, no pun intended, that just randomly came to my head. Um, what YouTube has become compared to what it used to be, well, what it is now, look, let's compare the two before I give my final um, uh, answer and why. First of all, YouTube now, well, it's the same platform except, you know, very glitchy sometimes. But outside of that, the number factor of how glitchy it is, YouTube now, the bigger differences are really, were, I should say, were um, impacted by concerns, legal concerns by outer sources. And, I mean, to a degree, I can kind of understand that. Um, like, like, a lot of people complain about the changes that were made on YouTube after the events. I think it was in 2018. Correct me if I'm wrong for anybody who watches this, but article, something that is now called Article 17 in the UK, making it very specific and very, very clear that certain content can't be used in certain places. Which, in a way, Article 17 is a good example of what I'm talking about on how YouTube has changed. Again, it's still the same platform, but with rules to, you know, balance things out, make things a bit more user-friendly. That, as many, and many people don't agree with this, and I understand that. 
But the details of Article 17, people look at it and go, well, now I can't freely do whatever I want. But let's put it this way. A billion dollar company now can't get in trouble for the usage of copyright material. As I said earlier on, this is more... This is a good example of what I was saying when I said this is kind of like a country when it first builds its population. First builds its people. On what grounds? Well, that's a good ground to give as an example, I feel like, just because of the fact that... Um, well, look at it this way. The main concern for... The main reason Article 17, if I remember correctly, was put up in the first place is because mu musical artists were getting upset that their music was being used on YouTube. A lot of people's reaction, and this is sad, were negative against that. But think about the artists themselves. How do they make their money? Through their music. And if nobody goes to their source like, goes and buys their song on online, or if you go far back enough on freaking CDs, or if you're going even further back, which I will on this channel at some point, cassettes. Yeah. You heard me right. Well, you, they won't get those bought if everybody is listening to free versions of their songs online. That was kind of becoming a big problem. Now there are some exceptions to this because some companies don't care because that's not the source of their cha-ching. Like the other half of this channel, the gaming stuff. Every game I do, I play the game, yes, and I talk over the game, but that's kind of intentional. That way if you really are interested in it yourself, they don't lose any of this. But you can still see my reaction to these kind of things. That's why. That's also why I do older games. Um, anyway. So, back to the topic at hand. This kind of gives a good example of why YouTube has changed. It's changed because for every negative ac action that's been presented, they build a rule to prevent that action from happening again. Yes, a lot of people don't like it. It's because a lot of people don't like... They just wanted YouTube to stay as it was back in... I think it was between 2006 and 2012? At least 2006 and 2010. At first, I know this because at first I was the same way. Emphasis on f at first. Well, that doesn't answer the original question. Do I miss what YouTube used to be? As I'm sitting here backing up why it's changed, because I find it pointless to get upset at Miss Wachowski just because of like these different aspects because she's trying to run a ginormous company that keeps getting lashed at for their changes that are more reasonable than people like to believe. Why or why or why don't, why do or why don't I miss the original YouTube? I do, actually, to a degree, but at the same time I don't. It's a complicated answer, I know. But let me run through it. What things do I miss about the original YouTube? Well, the same as most. It's very freelance. It was very freelance. Um, it was an even wider door for opportunity, an even wider open door for opportunity. And honestly, the original channel I had, which is actually not this one, uh, it was one called Multi Thing One Zero One. It, it, it kind of was gaming, kind of wasn't. It wasn't even really a full-fledged channel like this. Not even close to as, even as professional. But again, who cared? 
That's another thing. Yes, it was a company, for heaven's sake, Google owned YouTube back then. It wasn't even owned by an outer source, or by a third party source, or run by a third party source. It was completely owned and run by Google when it started. And it was a bit more freelance, kind of like Google had been. And still, from what I understand, it is. But they also, you know, it, 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 they were also like watching over pretty much everything going on. Now, I'm not saying this in a legal sense. I mean, come on. That's not what I'm saying. Either way around, though, I digress. Um, what other aspects do I miss about the original YouTube that aren't really there today? How about YouTube Rewind? Shifting over time, that changed and got worse and worse and worse. Even I think this. I think it's more of a matter of are you trying kind of thing. Now, I'm not going to criticize the company for making bad rewinds and stuff. It's just that it's kind of like a parent to a child. Take what's given to you and be grateful you're given anything at all is probably the mindset they have. Now, do I think that's right or wrong in the sense of these rewinds? Uh, hard to say. These rewinds are made to entertain, and honestly, the way I... I mean, they've gone downhill. You, you can kind of tell that the efforts put into them are degrading, I I don't know which way is down to the right for you. Guys. Ugh, I'm getting hiccups. But back with the original YouTube, YouTube rewinds. The reason I miss the ones from back then is because they were so supportive of other channels, channels growing, channel growth. Shout outs to those who were like in real life. It was still in touch with real life. It was well, way more, um, in touch base with what was going on outside of the platform itself. That is something that I loved about the original YouTube. And this is from the rewinds. How about vlogs? Vloggers? Well, honestly, it's hard to say. Back then and now, I mean, I like both. They've kind of stayed on a neutral path. They've gone about things showing their real lives and how it lays out. Like what I'm planning on doing once I have more going on in my real life. Like every time I have something going on in my real life. Like yesterday. I showcase it. I'll make a random vlog about what's going on. Uh, if not... Then I do one of these. Well, how about gamers like myself? And yes, I'm a vlogger as well, but my channel started at gaming, so that's why I say that. Anyway, gamers have shifted gears in a sense, but for the better or for the worse. Quite frankly, that's on you. That decision is entirely on you. For me, I feel like it's still there. That spark from back then is still there. I've kind of stayed neutral in my opinion on gamers, but back then, there was a... Back then with gaming, you could throw on the channel whatever commentary you wanted, and people would appreciate the fact that there was anything there. Now, you have to be very careful of what you say, what you do. That's why on my ch my channel, you do find swearing sometimes. It's like off and on, though, and it, I'm trying to degrade from it, quite frankly. But you don't find any offensive terminology, and if anybody was to point out, hey, yeah, that's offensive, and it's reasonable, it's not somebody just putting spam, I'd be like, you know what, you're right, and I'd either remove, I'd remove the series and start it over again. That's just how my mind is. 
So that's one thing I actually think that I like more now than then. Skits. How about that one? Skits nowadays are kind of more professional, upfront, and... Like, they're good, but they don't have that spark they used to. The spark of creativity that comes from... The, from your brain, from, a speci from the one side of your brain. The spark of creativity is probably something I do miss from the original YouTube. A good example of this is Super Mario Logan. Or Super Luigi Logan. Or Super Bowser Logan. Holy I yika. Now the reason I say all these names for this person is because this person, that spark was there. Granted, there was a lot of, hey, kids don't watch this kind of stuff, and he did say some offensive term in his most popular video, uh, Mario the Babysitter, which really is what kickstarted his channel, but on Super Mario Logan, his original one. But until YouTube, the more recent YouTube really started to build up itself, he was like all out, and he was funny. He was very, very funny, and I loved the content. That's one thing that I actually liked about um, skits more. I like skits more then than I do now. Now, don't get me wrong. I do love the skits now, just not really as much. And lastly, music. These are like the four main things that I watch on this platform. That's why I'm only going off these four, otherwise I'd be here forever. Music is kind of a neutral point. It was good then, and it was good now. Back then, a lot of people would... Actually, now that I think about it, I think I like the more current because of the particular aspects that have been presented, like I was talking about at the beginning of this video. Back then, people would put up content music by other artists, and if I'm being honest, I would, like, go on there and i think, I mean, yes, it's free listening, but this is not yours. This is not your song. Now, some people would get creative with it and mash some things together. Guilty as charged on this one. Um, a lot of people have heard of mashups where you would mix one song with another, combine the two, and they'd sound amazing. For example... A good example of this is My Sons Know What You Did in the Dark and Radioactive. I heard a mashup of these two songs and it worked so freaking well. Found it on YouTube. Been removed at this point, but I also found it on SoundCloud at a point. But I've memorized it to the point where I can listen to one of the songs and sing the other song in line with it. And they pretty much finished at the same time, which is really weird to think about. Because they're not the same length, but the way that they're presented makes it happen. Stuff like that, I liked back then, but for the most part, people would spam, showcase, different artists' songs. And that I didn't feel too good about. Instead, I would, you know, for you, you youngins who don't understand this... I used, to, and I used to be the kind of person who would watch things like MTV or go to the music shop and buy me myself some CDs or, I'm not this old, but I understand the concept, vinyls or cassettes where you just like listen to those. Or those thick old iPods where you would buy and download songs from the artists themselves. That's the kind of person I am. I never went online to listen to the music um, again, unless it was a mashup, or unless, and this is what I like about the more recent, the artist was created originally on YouTube. A couple good examples of this. D9, who... Great guy. One of my closest friends. Um, consider him like a brother, actually. And 
he has been making music. Oh boy. His family has been making music for who know, for even though only really they know how long. <laughs> but I guess my point in that is just that great stuff. And they present it yes, free on here, free of use on this platform, but that's because he live streams these, making the content. His finances that he earns from that come from the live streams. Come from watching the live streams. And, well, honestly, you have to watch the original beat video to get what's going on. Especially if you don't want other people like myself talking over it. But I digress. Um, one other artist that's a good example of this is Trayar Ninja. Granted, he did start near the end of the years of YouTube that's considered the older YouTube. But his better songs, in my opinion, were presented in the newer, when it felt a bit more safe to do stuff like that. Nowadays, with musicians, those who don't mind others using their songs for, like, background stuff actually say it. They'll actually say this is free for profit, either in the description, which it's stupid how many people don't pay attention to the description, or they won't, and they don't want others using it, which that is fine. YouTube provides a list of free-for-use sounds anyway. Either way around, though, that is pretty much the list of different channels I listen to on here. I, I used to watch cooking, but it didn't last very long. That was more my mom's thing. My sister's thing. I don't know which one. You get my point. I think at a point it was my brother's, but I don't remember. I'm getting too old for this thought process. So, let's go to the conclusion of this. Which version of YouTube do I like better? The older one, or the newer one? Well, when you look at the statistics, if I were to go by statistics, I would have to say the older. But to be honest, I like the newer one better for the sole purpose that, yes, it is still the older YouTube, but like I said at the beginning of this video, just has more rules and regulations to make sure that the people using the platform aren't doing anything malicious. And I understand that. Granted, I have never studied law before, but I still have my morals. And my morals go out there to say, hey, I get why these were made. I get why these rules were presented. I understand that. And I'm accepting of it. I'm still left. The way I look at it, and this is another re major reason why I'm fine with what we currently have. I'm more than okay with what we currently have, is because unless it starts, unless something it starts impacting me specifically, and what I do in a negative way, I will be more than accepting of what has happened. These rules and regulations have not impacted my channel in a negative way at all. They haven't impacted the fact the people I enjoy watching in any kind of way. Yes, it gives them limits of what they can do and say, but it doesn't impact their actual job on this platform and what they like doing on here. Good example of this, Markiplier. What has he wanted to do the whole, for many, many people, um, who have been subbed in for long enough know this, but what was Mark's main goal when he started? When YouTube was quote-unquote better? Skits. He wanted to make skits. He wanted to make, like, this deep story. Look at him now. In the new YouTube. He has done it. He has done exact, and he's doing it. He's done and is doing exactly what he wanted.
way back when he was in college. Feels like a long time ago. Maybe it's just given because of the past couple of years. D9. He's a musician. At this point, that's an obvious no-brainer. The way he wanted to go about it, though, was involving other people. But in a safe and more optimistic and positive or in manner, this would not have been as possible as it is now if it wasn't for the fact that these rules and regulations had been set up. The new coding. The new a lot of things. Now, a lot of people don't like the re newer YouTube, like I'm giving them credibility, YouTube credibility for. And that's fine. Everybody has their own opinion on this front. Similar, yes, some say I like the older, I like the newer. A lot say I like the older, actually. This is a rare opinion that I have. But I like the newer YouTube more. The one that's user-friendly, the one that still allows me to do my own thing on here as long as I give credit where it's due, which I am more than willing to do. I'm not having any problem with that at all. And the one that helps those who originally came on this platform with a desire to create, allow them to do exactly that. In my personal opinion, and many people disagree, and I'm fine with that. I'm accepting of that too, I don't mind. But in my personal opinion, for me, to me, I like the newer YouTube better. And many of you are not gonna like this. Many of you are gonna disagree with this. That's okay. I don't mind. I get it. But I am curious. What do you guys think? Do you like what YouTube has become? Or would you prefer how it started? Let me know in the comments below. Um, I know this was a really lengthy video, but there was a lot to talk about here. There's been only like one other video that's been like this, and I need to remove it soon because I said I would at some point. But definitely let me know what you guys think. And keep in mind, guys, this video is just my personal opinion. Yes, it go, it's based off factors that are legitimately true, and that's usually how I go about my opinions, but it still is my opinion. So take it with a grain of salt, um, if you don't mind. Anyways, I'm going to head off. Click the links on the side of my head for any live stuff that you guys actually might more enjoy. If you didn't like this, or if you did like this, you might actually like these as well. And if you have not yet, please consider subscribing to the channel, because not only do I do stuff like these, I do skits every now and then. I do just humorous, goofy IRL things. There's a lot of stuff I do on this channel. This, that for the first half. And the second half is just either comedic or first-hand reactive gaming. Um, if you have an interest in any of that kind of stuff, please definitely check out the channel itself if you have not yet, and consider subscribing. And sharing out the channel, because we're growing, baby, little by little, and um, every little bit of help is always appreciated. Thanks again for watching this video, everyone, and I hope to see all of you in another video. Bye for now.